everyone, today we're going to talk about information science. If you don't know, my major at university is information science. And a lot of the time when people ask me what my major is and I answer with information or information science, they kind of have confused looks because if you think about it, it's kind of weird that you're saying like, oh yeah, I'm studying information when everything is information. Um, but that is honestly true. Everything is information and that's why it's such a great major, but that's still pretty vague. So I'm going to go in a little bit deeper on whether you should be an information science major and if it's a good fit for you. When I began college, I was an architecture major because I really liked the combination of artistry as well as technical skills. And I really wanted to be creative, but still kind of hone in on those technical skills that I have really liked learning in high school, whether that be physics or math. So I wanted to see if there was a major that kind of combined the two and architecture is what I landed on. However, in the first week of school, um, my freshman year of college, I stumbled upon a booth at our kind of like activity fair um, with the School of Information there. And I spoke to somebody who explained her major, um, information, and it was so interesting to discover a major that allowed you to combine creative skills with technical skills. If you're pretty indecisive and you can't decide on one single thing you want to do for the rest of your life, which is fair when you're in college, um, information might be a great fit for you because like I said before, information is something that you can really apply to everything. Everybody needs a data analyst or a UX researcher um, and you can really apply the skills that you learn as an information science major to any field you want to go into. Okay, so I'm going to read this, but according to the Association for Information Science and Technology, information is the science and practice of dealing with the effective collection, storage, retrieval, and use of information. Um, and it's a really interdisciplinary field with so many different things you can learn. Um, and a lot of colleges and universities have things called I schools within them, which are information schools. I go to an I school actually. I go to the University of Michigan School of Information and my school defines information as the intersection of people, technology, and information. When I was kind of researching this video and basically from my own experience as um, an information major here at Michigan, I really was able to see that researchers in information do anything from health informatics to social media to education. There's really so many different fields that you can apply information science to. So I mentioned very briefly iSchools. So what even is an iSchool? The iSchool movement began a few decades ago and previously schools of information really focused on librarians and library education but there became this need for information professionals. So these schools of information realized that they could really prepare students to work in places beyond just libraries. So like I said before, I'm in the School of Information at the University of Michigan and there are bachelor's degrees offered as well as master's degrees and PhDs. I am currently an undergraduate. Now I'm gonna talk a little bit about what the undergraduate program is like at Michigan. I'm not quite sure what other experiences at other I schools are like, so that's why I'm kind of going to talk about my experience and hopefully it helps a little bit with what the field of information kind of entails. Like I said before, a lot of schools of information began as library schools and the master's program at Michigan still does have a library focus, but on the other hand, the undergraduate program, which is not very old, I think it's like about seven years old, um, focuses more on technology. At Michigan, you have to apply into the program. So you apply during your sophomore year and you find out around March when you get in. Um, and then you actually take the courses junior and senior year. There are four different prereqs you have to take, including your writing class that every undergraduate has to take here at Michigan, as well as um, a programming course, so an intro programming course and a statistics course. And then you also have to take an intro to information course um, which is a social science credit, it's not very technical. Once you do get into the School of Information's undergraduate program, you have two different pathways to choose from, one of them being information analysis and the other one being user experience design. No matter the pathway, there are still a bunch of courses that both concentration, concentrations sorry, have to take, so you don't have to decide right away which one you want. So no matter the pathway, there are courses that all students have to take, so you can kind of wait a little bit before deciding which concentration you actually want to do. No matter the pathway, all students have to take data-oriented programming as well as web design, development, and accessibility. 
So those are both programming courses. And in addition to those two programming courses, all students have to take a course called Information Environments and Work, which is also not a technical course. It's kind of more preparation for project management or consulting, kind of teaching you the business lingo that goes along with um, technology. And then everyone also has to take a career course, which is just a one credit course preparing you for the job search. So I personally am on the information analysis pathway. Based on what it says on the website, this concentration helps students learn how to gather essential data and answer essential questions for stakeholders and present that data in a convincing way. That's not a super detailed description of what it is. It's pretty high level. So based on what I've taken, I mostly tell people I'm like a data analytics major essentially to kind of help them understand it a little bit more because information analysis still kind of sounds odd. So um, it is mostly data analytics kind of focused. So I've taken courses like data manipulation, data exploration, and intro to user modeling. While this pathway is more coding heavy than the other focus, we do a lot of work in Python, pandas, um, and actually analyzing databases. Um, it still isn't as coding heavy as something like data science or computer science might be. You also take classes that have to do with project management, like I kind of mentioned previously, as well as um, a course that kind of focuses more on the economic side of technology and information. So that's kind of my pathway. And the other pathway, like I mentioned, is the user experience design pathway. This pathway teaches you to design, build, and evaluate different interactive systems. It's really focused on user-centered design. And despite the fact that I'm not on this pathway, I have taken two courses that are specific to this pathway, kind of as my elective courses, because you do have to take elective courses in addition to the required pathway courses. So I've taken building data-driven applications, which is building a website in Django. And I've also taken a course called Needs Assessment and Usability Evaluation, which focused on different user research methods like surveys, creating personas, usability tests, and heuristic evaluations. So as you can see, both of those pathways are quite a bit different, but they also have so many similarities and overlaps, which is why I like to take um, courses from both of the pathways. Um, I think that learning both sides of them are really interesting, at least to me. I really had a hard time deciding between which pathway to choose um, and eventually ended up choosing information analysis based on my career goals, but taking courses on user experience design also really helped me in interviews as well. Even interviewing for consulting positions, I was able to use skills and terms that I used in my usability needs and evaluation class to answer questions on how to approach a problem and how to gather information from stakeholders. Yeah, that's kind of the two pathways that are offered at my school. They definitely vary from school to school, but it's kind of an overview of what information science slash information analysis kind of is like. So after learning all of that, whether it be the more data focused classes or the more user experience focused classes, what jobs do people actually get? So some of the jobs listed on the University of Michigan School of Information website are jobs like data analyst, UX researcher, UX designer, consultant, um, project manager. There's a lot of different jobs listed there, but it seems like based on the career report from last year, 2021, most people do go into consulting technology or financial services. And my previous internship was actually in financial services. Um, working in their data kind of department. Based on my experience and how I explain the major to employers and based on the report, it seems like this is an extremely hireable degree but also allows you to kind of pivot your career direction and do a lot of different things that you might want to switch up. Additionally, the average salary from my program at the School of Information at Michigan is $78,000 on average and I think it was like 775 k um, median. So it's a very hireable degree, but it also does have a very high starting salary. So if you are indecisive and want to get a degree that's very versatile, this is definitely a great place to start. So yeah, that's kind of an overview of information science and specifically my major here at the University of Michigan. Um, I know that starting off, I had no idea what information science was or information as it's called here at Michigan. Um, and I know sometimes it's difficult to explain to employers because they also don't know. But once you do explain it to the employers, they think it's a very unique degree that um, is very beneficial to many different areas of work, whether that be consulting or a data analyst, financial services, um, or as even a software engineering intern. So it's very versatile and you can do a lot of different things with it. I hope that helped and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.